Okay, you're going to be uh, writing some equations given some lines, and this is really cool because every time you get an answer right, you're going to get a picture, part of the picture that comes up. Okay, I'll show you. Um, first of all, when you open the document, it's going to say best when view is set to zoom at 50 or 75%. So you do want to do that. Um, there probably is other ways to do this, but I, I like to click the three dots on the top right hand corner. And I like to go down where it says zoom and click the negative button until it gets down. I'm going to go to 50 okay, until it goes down to 50%. Okay, click out of it. Okay, but one way or the other, you want to zoom down. Okay, now notice you're going to see a page that has a bunch of graphs on it. And if you click, find the rectangle on the on the side, on the right, if you kind of hover on that, click it, you can move up and down. You can see all the problems. Okay. And if you also notice, on the bottom right hand side of your screen, there's two pages to this document. The page you're on says graphs. If you click on where it says slope intercept form. Okay, that's going to be where you put your answers. And you can go back and forth. You do want to go back and forth, like click graphs to see the, the problems and then click the slope intercept form to give you to get you to the answer page where you write down the answers. Okay, so that's one thing to uh, keep in mind. Um, Let's just practice. I think what's going to um, be the trickiest for you guys is to get these simplified. Because on this particular puzzle, the person who made this, um, the answers have to be as simple as possible. Or the picture won't start working. You won't see the parts of the puzzle. Okay, so let's look at problem 2 and 11. Okay, 2 and 11. Okay, so I'm on the page that says graphs. Let's look at problem two together. Okay, you could use scratch paper if you wanted. I'm going to try to use this feature. Okay, if I want to know the equation of uh, problem two, I need to first figure out the slope. Okay, so I want to go from one point to the other. Okay, I'm going to think about going up or down first and then over. Okay, because my up or down number is the rise and how much I go over is my run. Okay, so my slope, rise over run. Okay, I'm going down one, and that's negative, a negative direction. And then I'm going over one. Okay, that, to the right is a positive direction. Negative one over one equals negative one. Okay, you could have just thought of it as rise one, run one reduce one over one to one. And then because the line is going downward, put a negative in front of that. So it's negative one. Okay, so the y, uh, slope is one, negative one, sorry, slope is negative one. The y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. It's crossing the y-axis at zero. Okay, so my slope is negative 1, my y-intercept is 0, so my equation, it's always going to be in the form y equals slope x plus the y-intercept. Okay, y equals slope x plus y-intercept. We just need to put the numbers in and simplify. Okay, so y equals... Okay, the slope was negative 1. Put that in front of the x. Okay, negative 1x plus the y-intercept was 0. Okay, and guys, this mathematically is the right answer. But this will not give you a piece of the puzzle on the next page. So we got to make sure it's as simple as possible. Okay, a couple things. If you have a 1 in front of an x... Just pretend like that one isn't there. Just don't write it at all. So I'm going to write y equals 
negative x. Because 1, x, and x are the same thing. Okay, there's something else about this problem. Whoops. Something else about this problem. It has plus 0 at the end. Okay, well, adding 0 to something doesn't change it. So I'm not going to write it down at all. So I'm going to think of my equation as y equals negative x. Okay, so I'm going to... I guess I didn't need to go up or down there, but I do need to go down and click the slope intercept form page on the bottom left hand side. I'm going to find problem two, graph two, and I'm going to type in y equals negative x. Don't put any spaces at all in these, okay, guys? No spaces. Okay, I'm going to click enter and look what happens. Okay, the equation turns black, which means it was right, but it also gives you a color. So everything that's blue in this picture is shaded now. Okay, get it? Every time you get a right answer, you're going to get part of the picture. Okay, let's go back and do number 11. Okay, I'm going to click graphs. I'm going to curse down to number 11. Okay, right there. Okay, I want to find the equation of this line. Okay, the slope going from one point to another point. We're rising 5. I'm thinking of it as down 5 over 1. Okay, so number 11. So my slope down 5, that's negative 5, over 1. The run is positive 1. Now, I do need to simplify that all the way. Negative 5 divided by 1 is negative 5. Okay. Uh, just a reminder, you could have just thought, okay, uh, the rise is 5 and the run is 1. 5 over 1 is 5. But then because the line goes down, I got to put a negative in front of that. So it's negative 5. Okay, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, in this problem, the y-axis is being crossed at negative 5. Okay, it's a coincidence, and it's the same number as the slope. So the slope is negative 5, and the y-intercept is negative 5. So my equation, it will always be y equals slope x plus the y-intercept. Okay, so y equals, my slope is negative 5, so I'm going to write negative 5, then my x, and then plus a negative 5. Okay, this brings us to another thing that uh, would be better if we changed it a little bit, because this is the right answer. Okay, this is the right answer, but it's not the most simplified way to write it. Okay, something else to look at when you simplify an answer plus a negative. If you ever have plus a negative, it's best to just write it as a subtraction symbol instead. So it'd be better to write this as y equals negative 5x minus 5. It just looks a little better because it has one less symbol. Okay, But that's what you would have to type in the puzzle to get the color to come up. So number 11, y equals negative 5x minus 5. Okay, so I'm going to click slope intercept form page. I'm going to go down to graph 11. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to type in y equals negative 5x minus 5. I'm going to click enter. And see, now I have the orange part of my graph. Okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to go back and forth. You want to find the equation of the graph in as simplest form as you can. Um, if your graph doesn't turn black, if it stays red, like if that negative 5x minus 5 stayed red, it means it just wasn't right. So if you guys come up into troubles, you, you think you're right, but it's not giving you the, it's not changing black, please contact me. I want to help you. This is supposed to be fun. 
it really is supposed to be fun. But please let me let me know if you have any trouble at all, and I'll help.